The objective is to multiply two-digit multiples of 10 by two-digit numbers using the area model. Here we're asked to find the product of 40 and 27. That means the answer to that multiplication problem. We can go ahead and think about this as 10 times 4 times 27. And if I place some parentheses, we can start thinking about 4 times 27 first using an area model. How do we show 4 times 27 with an area model? Right, the width would be 4, and then we would be looking at 27, where we would break it apart into its tens, which is how many tens? Right, two tens, and it's ones. And how many ones is that? Right, seven ones. So, I have modeled the 4 times 27. So if we were to figure that out, 20 times 4 does equal 80, and 7 times 4 does equal 28, so 80 plus 28 equals 108. Now what I'm really looking at, though, is 10 times as much. So the area model looks like this. where we're looking at 20, we're looking at 7, and then we're looking at 40. And let's work that out. You first have 40 times 20, which does equal 4 tens times 2 tens. When we multiply the tens times the tens, we get what? Right, hundreds. So we get 8 hundreds, which also equals 800. When we're multiplying this other part here for the area, that portion there, it's 40 times 7. 40 times 7 also equals 4 tens times 7, which equals 28 tens, which does equal 280. What would I do to figure out this area? Well, I'll take 800 and add it together with the 280. And 800 plus 280, then, equals 1,080. So the product of 40 and 27 is 1,080. Notice how 1080 is 10 times as much as 108. I increased that width by 10 times. Here, let's find the product of 60 and 23 using the area model. It's 6 tens here, so that's what I will put for my width. For my length, I'll break apart 23 into its tens and ones, so it's worth two tens, which is worth 20, and its ones is worth three. And we'll draw the rest of that area model. Remember, area is length times width, so here we're multiplying 60 times 20. When we're multiplying 60 times 20, that's 6 tens times 2 tens, which 12 hundreds. Remember, tens times 10 does equal hundreds, and 12 hundreds is written as 1,200. With 60 times 3, that's 6 tens times 3, which equals 18 tens which can be written as 180. So our product of 60 times 23 is 1,200 plus 180, which equals 1,380. So the product is 1,380. Read the whole thing. 
60 times 23 equals 1,380. And so we use the area model to help figure out that answer. We had the partial product of 60 times 20 added together to the partial product of 60 times 3. You try. Use an area model to solve 50 times 36. Pause the video while you do your work. There's 50, there's 30, and there's 6 more. What would you multiply together for each of these partial products? Here it would be 50 times 30, which equals 5 tenths times 3 tenths, which equals 15 hundreds. Remember, tens times tens does give you hundreds, which is written as 1,500. So one of the partial products is 1,500. The other one is 50 times 6, which is 5 tenths times 6, which equals 30 tenths, which equals 300. So we're adding 1,500 to 300. The other way that we can write that is as follows. We have 36 times 50. And so this is something new that you haven't seen yet, where we're looking at 6 50s, which was the 300. And then we're looking at 30 50s, which was the 1,500. And in adding those together, I get 1,800. So here's our area model to solve 50 times 36, and our answer is 1,800. Here's one last problem. Here we have 80 times 53. If we were to draw an area model, it would be 80 here, and then we would have 50 along with 3. Here we would start with 80 times 50. 80 times 50. 80 times 50, that's 8 tenths times 5 tenths, which equals 40 hundredths, which does equal 40, followed by two zeros, or the number 4,000. Count three 80s, you would get what? 80, 60, 240. And what would you do with these two numbers? Right, you would add them. You would add them to get 4,240. Let me show you this problem vertically. 80 times 53. 3 times the 0 being 0, 3 times the 8 is 24. Since we're dealing with tens here, when we're multiplying by 5, we place a 0. 5 times the 0 is 0, and 5 times the 8 is 40. And then so we have those partial products right there within that standard algorithm approach for solving 80 times 53. What we are working on today was that area model.